Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me today. We're back on Aurora, New Zealand, if you will, to answer a question that Discord user Benji Alucard has put out there. And I figured, you know, I could ask this a lot. So I thought we'd put it to the test. Is the 3030 any good today in the Hunter Call of the Wild? So we're currently up here in Mangantuai, Mang Mangatua. Ming, ming. We're in the top left of the map of New Zealand, and we're going to see, well, we're going to start with some chamois. Now, the 3030, let's just start. Before we head down there, we've just changed the time. We need to give it a moment. Let's take a look at this gorgeous gun, because make no mistake, it is an absolutely gorgeous gun. It has beautiful iron sights. I think it's an absolute pro. You have great vision while looking down them for those close-up shots. Now, the scope has had some controversy over the years. This is the Helios. Personally, I quite like the view through it since the changes. Previously, it had a tint on it, and it, you know, you still got a little bit around the edges, but honestly, with the way the tint was before, it made it rather difficult to see the animals if you were right at dusk or dawn with a little bit of dimming in the natural light. Uh, but since the changes, honestly, I really like it. Now, a few things to note about this gun. First off, you do have the option of four shots. It gives you a nice follow-up opportunity. I, uh, you know, you're allowed two shots now. Why not make use of it, right? Into the animal. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful thing. So that's okay, but you are limited by its range. Now, with a max zeroing of 150 meters, you know, that, that's that's not bad. That's not bad. It's not fantastic, but you don't have any milli-dots down the scope. So you gotta kind of figure out where you need to lift to when you're aiming at something. You know, to get it on just right, uh, it's not bad. You get used to it. You truly, truly do. I put a lot of time into this gun back in the day, and I know how it used to perform. But I have a question for you, my friends. And uh, maybe y'all want to help me out on this one. Let me know in the comments section. Am I losing my mind? I, that That's not actually the question. But seriously, I, am I losing my mind? If you go to the ammo and you take a look at the 3030, we've got an effective range of 75 meters. I really thought that at one point that was 150 meters. It makes sense being 75 if you can only double that up to a max zero in range of 150. Uh, but I, I swear I used to think it was 150. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments, please. But with a penetration of 35, uh, the soft points are by far the way to go. Now, you only get an expansion of four, but as long as your shot is on, you have no problems or should have any problems dropping animals with this particular ammo. Just for comparison's sake, here's the 3030 hollow point. Uh, as a rule of thumb, any of the different ammo variations for the rifles in this game that offer you a soft or a hollow point, we found that by using the soft point, you'll get the kill and done. The hollow point just seems to always fall a little bit short, whether it's the 3030 or the 4570, uh, that just simply seems to be the case. But as you can see, with a penetration of 17, uh, it, you very rarely hit that mark you're looking for. Uh, you know, a straight on shot with this, trying to get hard, it, it very often just won't even come close, depending on obviously the animal, but for the most part, that just seems to be how it is. Let me know the luck you guys have had in the comments if you prefer the hollow over the soft point. Uh, we've definitely had much more luck here on the channel and on streams with the soft point. Okay, let's wander on down here. We're gonna see if we can start with some chamois. We'll go check out some fallow. Fallow would kind of be at the top end of what this gun could do. Uh, I, you know, I always like to try and take a max caliber for, for the particular animal that I'm hunting. Uh, and the, f yeah, so Fallow would be right there. Kind of like shooting a white tail. You know, this gun is fantastic on Leighton if you're taking out black tails. The white tails, it sometimes is just a little bit light on the touch if you pick it up what I'm putting down. And hopefully we're about to go put something down here. So let's get to it. Okay, here's a great opportunity to give it a little bit of a flex and see how she does. We're on a uh, pretty tight, almost a straight on, almost a quartered shot. Let's see what we can do with this. And we're gonna zero it in for its effective range. We'll give her about a hundred. Oh, and you know, we'll just we'll just turn and oh yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oof.
Double oof. Triple oof. Got ourselves a nice looking Millie here. It's the female. Seems we gotta work them off our maps. They did put a fix out for the spawn rate of them, but if they're there, they're there. <laughs> You're gonna have to kill them to make them go away. Still gorgeous though, isn't it? Well, ignore the bad shots today. I think I need more coffee. It just feels like it doesn't have a lot of oomph behind it. You know? I, I don't know. Let's let's go pick up and see what's happening. Here's a good looking female. We'll give this one a try and see how she does. Zeroed in for 100. We'll just try a simple lung shot. Put it through the paces. All right, it's going down. Okay, here's that melee that we turned into a pincushion. I mean, they do look good, though. You can't doubt that. Melanistic, man. Hey, that looks good. <laughs> Getting distracted. Piece of candy. Let's see here. So that first shot was just premature. All right. All right. Well, you know, you, you make some bad shots sometimes. If, if you don't make a bad shot, you don't know what a good shot is, right? <laughs> I don't know. Silver lining and all. Okay, that's fine. Where we impacted this other guy and carry on. A few more testable animals walk in. in. Let's see if something gives us a shot. I always take the moving shot. They're not too bad. These guys are moving nice and slow, too. Here's that guy we initially hit. And we got lung butter. Now what we're doing is we're just putting it through the paces, trying a little bit of up close shots, try a little at range, uh, different angles, see how it performs. Okay, so there was that three very easy female. In fact, you know, not bad when you consider. We got a gold out of that, it's beautiful. 870 cash, they're a little weaker on the cash side compared to some of the other animals, but 217 XP is pretty hard to shake a stick at. So at 103 meters, as you can see, we, we firmly got within that lung. We're gonna have to try for a double lung and see if we can double punch it. Let's take a look at this guy. Two minor female at 17 meters now, in all fairness, the scalpula and a lot of animals is like a steel plate to stop your bullet. But we just got through it and apparently touched lung, even though it looks like we've stopped just shy of the animal. Uh, we got in there. We got in there some, so it did work. Not bad. I mean, at 17 meters, I kind of thought we would have got a double lung on that one, but we'll keep trying through the paces. If that's not a double lung, we got issues, my friends. Let's not get trampled and killed here now, Beard. <laughs> you don't have a whole lot of HP left. It's a killing zone over here. Enter at your own risk. Bring med kits. <laughs> Call for assistance. All right. So this was that gray, gray brown <laughs> female, and we did, in fact, get a double lung at nine meters. I would certainly hope so. Uh, did pretty good work. Not bad. Not bad at all, 30-30. At nine meters, you know, I almost think the 22 would get through that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, don't don't try it, my friends. I mean, go ahead if you want. It could be fun, but you know, you're not going to make it. It's 22 is not going to double lung one of these. Hey, how you doing? No, don't hit me. No, no, you'll kill me. Another great spot here, uh, just up from where we were. These two lakes, you could almost tour back and forth, back and forth. It's just fantastic. That's a high trophy rating female, 58 being diamond. That's pretty dang close. Now, I don't know if we're going to make it all the way through the neck to get uh, to where we want to go. We could play it safe and just tap a lung here. Not sure if we're going to reach that heart. <laughs> Let's go lung.
Everything scatter. Now we'll give it a minute, let a few come back in, play the need zone, if you will, and we'll try a couple of more. Then we'll move on to another species. Beautiful animations. All right, so that's out at 181. Now with the effective range being 75 meters, 150 is just gonna be a big drop off at that. So we're gonna try and reach out and touch some lung and see how we do. Uh, I'm a little nervous about it, a little nervous. We'll see though. Zeroed in for 150. I'm gonna lift just a little bit. We definitely connected and there we go. So still doing work at 180 meters, not bad. Might as well put another one into the ground. Make it worthwhile on our run, you know? So we got three we gotta pick up, let's get to it. One, ooh, ah, ah, very nice. Very nice indeed, not bad. 973, almost a thousand bones. We'll take it, baby. Double lunged it at 74 meters. Just reaching that double lung. Uh-huh, we'll take it, that's getting bigger. Not bad, and it's the Honey Toads. I just love the name, Honey Toads. And for our second melee of the hunt, 49, I mean, it's still a gold, 979. Not bad, not bad. Reach the heart, uh, it, it just, you know, they have a very big heart for the size of the animal. Honestly, in comparison to what the, say the white tail are, the black tail. But uh, not bad, we had just enough reach to get in there and punch it. It's a fun little gun to shoot, but it certainly does feel little, which is what you expect. It's a 30-30. I mean, obviously, its rival counterpart in my mind would be the, the 243. So that's kind of what I'm placing it up against as we do this test. Here's where I feel the 30-30 lacks just a little bit. That's a gorgeous looking fallow. Absolutely beautiful. I'd love to crack them, but at 202, that's a big drop off. But for science, I suppose we should give it a shot and let one fly. Not a problem with the 30-30. She got dirty. Put it down, no problems. Let's go pick it up. I gotta say, I'm pleasantly surprised. Not letting me down one bit. All right. Didn't even take a step. Man, these fallows sure look good, don't they? Always been one of my favorite racks in game. So we got a gold out of a 227. So let's take a look here and see. Now, we're talking about the drop off. Now, if you'll notice and hit rewind, if you didn't, I was aiming at the very top of lung, knowing that it would fall somewhat. And, you know, it, it fell more than I thought. And in fact, we caught heart as well. Now, we did also catch the humerus, so we might have punched a little further through, but it really doesn't look like we had a lot of penetration. Still, not bad. Not bad at all. 201 meters, well outside of its effective range. Uh, we'll take it. We'll take it all day long. 1,237 boats, 295 XP. Pretty. So pretty. So pretty. That guy keeps getting a little bigger every time he respawns. All right, we got one standing here at 64 meters out. Let's crack a lock and see if we can make it to the heart on a straight on shot. We absolutely did. That's all we caught. We did not reach lung. My goodness. I mean, as you can see, we would have just skimmed it a little further back and it doesn't quite have the penetration. These are tougher animals, you know, with a max weight of 100. They're kind of on the larger side for this rifle. Uh, but, you know, we're not going to complain. We're doing work with it. We're getting all of our checks and we can't, you know, you can't complain. I mean, you could, but nobody wants to hear it. All right. You know, this has fast become my favorite fallow spot on the map. Puke Mario, Puke, Puke Mar, Puke, Puke Mar, up here in the top of New Zealand. You know, it used to be what we were dubbing at Fallow Lake. Well, we can call this Fallow Falls, because every time we come here, Fallow just fall. <laughs> 
These guys, these two right here, look very, very similar on top. Uh, and so do you, in fact. You've all got... You're a little bigger, but uh, you're carrying the max weight estimate, which, let's face it, if we were going to go diamond hunting, uh, that would get a little bit awkward. So, uh, you got blockers. I think we can just reach in behind this one. And we'll give it a pop. So it's out at 80 meters. Let's see how it does on a, a decent sized male up close. Picking you out of the crowd, sir. Dead. All right, let's go pick him up. Should be an okay gold. Uh, a little small gold. Uh, big silver. Okay. <laughs> just shy of gold. Like, just shy. But, as you can see, we managed to punch through the lung into the liver. We would have just caught a double lung there. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So we gave her a go over at TR Aurora. We really put it through its paces. I have to say, I, I have enjoyed the 3030. It seems like a great alternate and something that, you know, you might really, really like. Maybe you got tired of using the 243 all the time. Uh, you know, there's always a nice option out there. And this could certainly be it for you. I will say that it feels a little bit light on the punch. I took a couple feral pigs with it and uh, maybe not the best option. Um, I even you know, but like anything, right? There's certain animals that really you, you don't want to focus on and certain that you do. So we're here now at the range on Hirschfeld and we're going to take a little bit of a look at the drop off. I, I feel that, uh, you know, some rifles, it's a major thing and some not so much. I really did feel the effects of it with this particular rifle. And I want to put it through the paces just a wee bit. So we'll do it in a crouch. We're going to line up on the second target here. Zeroed in for 150. Okay. Looking pretty good. Pretty consistent with all the shots. Not bad. Let's just try her. Let's hit the reset here now. One breath, just rolling as soon as we can. Oh, oh a little drifty on the follow-ups, but it is what it is. Okay, let's go ahead and change our range. So the 150, she's, she's doing fantastic. Now, um, let's see, we were pushing it at the 200 mark so let's let's go with the 200 for now again we'll hit the reset in a crouch zeroed for 150 straight at the target first and we can see our drop off there that's about consistent on what we did on that previous fallow where we were around the 200 meter mark and i was zeroed for 150 i aimed a little high and it dropped right into the heart Okay, so knowing that, then we should be hitting, yep, right about there, aiming for the top. Okay, so, you know, when you learn the rifle, you can find the spots, you can certainly make use of it. But here comes the real question. How does she do at 300 meters? Now, I would say, based on what we just seen, we're probably here. Let's go right for center and we're not even on the board. So aim for top of board. And you can see, there we go. So there's the sweet spot. There we go. All right, all right. So the drop off seems consistent. That, that's very, guys, that pleases me a lot because you can learn the rifle and you can make those big shots. You're not gonna do a whole lot more over 300, but uh, just for giggles sake. We're gonna aim for the, around the top of the seven.
So not having the mill of dots is obviously a little bit of a disadvantage with this scope, but it is most certainly doable. You know, two out of those three shots could have caught Lung uh, on a fallow at range, you know, pushing it at the 400 meters. Only been able to go to the 150 meters zeroing. It's not the end of the world. Now in comparison, one more time, taking a look at the 3030 soft point round nose bullet. This should be your ammo of choice with a penetration of 35, but only an effective range of 75 meters and you know, expansions only four. Honestly, we can get by with those numbers, but I would compare this in my mind to its counterpart being the 243, its effective range at 150 meters with 30 penetrations, same expansion. I honestly think and feel, and these are my thoughts, and let me know in the comments if you have a difference of opinion. I feel as if the 243, not only having more reach, for some reason feels like it has a little bit more punch. Both of them carry multiple shots for a good follow-up shot opportunity. And at the end of the day, you're using the Hyperion on the 243. So for this guy, I'm still going to stick with my 243, but I feel the 3030 is not only a viable option, I feel for some folks, it might be the go-to weapon for that class of animal. Guys, once again, let me know in the comment section down below what you think, how you feel. Do you use this gun? Do you love, do you hate this gun? Let me know, my friends. Guys, thank you all for joining me today. Once again, if you haven't done so, make sure to hit that like button, tag the subscribe, hit the little bell bell beside it do it with two hats if you got it don't forget to come and join us in the discord there's links in the description down below it's where all the things happen guys and we are streaming a lot over at twitch.tv forward slash jackson beard link in the description as well guys come and join us for a lot of live action we have a whole lot of fun and i hope to see you guys all very very soon yes sir <laughs>